Hi, my name is Carolina Poplaska. I'm a doctor from the University Children's Hospital, and today I want to talk to you about sugar, or more precisely, carbohydrates. Before I begin my talk, I want to introduce you to my little friend, Simon. Say hi, Simon. Oh no, Simon is not working anymore. But don't worry, that doesn't mean he's broken. As soon as I replace his batteries, he'll be singing and dancing again. So why am I talking about this? What do batteries have in common with carbohydrates? There we go, that's much better. Replacing batteries in a toy is like eating food for us. The electrical energy that is produced by the batteries is a source of energy for the toy. Just like the carbohydrates that are found in food and are breaking down into simple sugars in our body are a source of energy for us. Without this energy, we can't do simple things like eat, breathe, play. How long a new battery lasts depends on what we do with the toy. If we play with the toy a lot, then the battery will run out very quickly. However, if we only use the toy every once in a while, we will be able to use it longer. It's the same thing with people. If we lead a quiet, peaceful lifestyle, we won't need that much energy as someone who is very active and plays sports. But what are carbohydrates? And what is the relation to sugar? Carbohydrates are molecules made up of atoms. They can be divided into simple carbohydrates, also known as simple sugars, and complex carbohydrates. The smallest carbohydrate is made up of only one molecule in the shape of a ring. An example of this kind of simple sugar is glucose, and glucose can be find, found in honey. Another example of a simple sugar is fructose, and fructose can be found in fruits. There are also different types of simple sugars, which are composed of two sugar molecules joined together, two rings. These are called disaccharides, and they can be found in simple table sugar, just like the sugar that you have in your home. Another type of disaccharide is lactose, which can be found in milk. Simple sugars can also be found in candy and lollipops. If our diet is composed of a lot of simple sugars, we will digest them very quickly and become hungry very soon. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates are composed of many simple sugar molecules joined together. These uh, carbohydrates can be found in food containing wheat, such as bread, pasta, and cereals. These kind of foods take longer for your body to digest and will give you energy for a longer time. Now imagine you're going camping with your parents and you want to build a campfire out of paper and wood. Imagine that the wood symbolizes a complex carbohydrate and the paper are simple sugars. What do you think? Which material will burn more quickly, the paper or the wood? 